What do you mean, angels? They're just statues. Only when you see them. The angels are coming for you, but listen. They are fast, faster than you could believe. Don't turn your back. Don't look away and don't blink. I'm a time traveler. Or I was, I'm stuck. In 1969. We're stuck. All the space and time he promised me. Now I've got a job in a shop. I've got to support him. Martha. Sorry. I've seen this bit before. Quite possibly. 1969, that's where you're talking from. Afraid so. But you're replying to me. You can't know exactly what I'm going to say 40 years before I say it. 38? I'm getting this down. I'm writing in your bits. How? How is this possible? Tell me. Not so fast. Uh, people don't understand time. It's not what you think it is. Then what is it? Complicated. Tell me. Very complicated. I'm clever and I'm listening, and don't patronise me because people have died and I'm not happy. Tell me. People assume that time is a strict progression of cause to effect, but actually, from a non-linear, non-subjective viewpoint, it's more like a big ball of wibbly-wobbly, timey-wimey stuff. Yeah, I've seen this bit before. You said that sentence got away from you. It got away from me, yeah. Next thing you're going to say is, well, I can hear you. Well, I can hear you. This is impossible. No, it's brilliant. Well, not hear you exactly, but I know everything you're going to say. Always gives me the shivers of it. How can you know what I'm going to say? Look to your left. What does he mean by look to your left? I've written tons about that on the forums. I think it's a political statement. He means you. What are you doing? I'm writing in your bits. That way, I've got a complete transcript of the whole conversation. Wait until this hits the net. This will explode the egg forums. I've got a copy of the finished transcript. It's on my order queue. How can you have a copy of the finished transcript? It's still being written. I told you, I'm a time traveller. I got it in the future. OK, let me get my head around this. You're reading aloud from a transcript of a conversation you're still having. Uh, uh, Wibbly wobbly, timey wimey. Oh, actually, never mind that. You can do shorthand. So? What matters is we can communicate. We've got big problems now. They have taken the blue box, haven't they? The angels have the phone box. Angels have the phone box. That's my favourite. I've got that on a T-shirt. What do you mean, angels? You mean those statue things? Creatures from another world. But they're just statues. Only when you see them. What does that mean? Lonely assassins, they used to be called. No one quite knows where they came from, but they're as old as the universe, or very nearly. And they have survived this long because they have the most perfect defence system ever evolved. They are quantum-locked. They don't exist when they're being observed. The moment they are seen by any other living creature, they freeze into rock. No choice, it's a fact of their biology. In the sight of any living thing, they literally turn to stone. And you can't kill a stone. Of course, a stone can't kill you either, but then you turn your head away. Then you blink. And oh, yes, it can. Don't take your eyes off that. That's why they cover their eyes. They're not weeping. They can't risk looking at each other. Their greatest asset is their greatest curse. They can never be seen. Loneliest creatures in the universe. And I'm sorry. I am very, very sorry. It's up to you now. What am I supposed to do? The blue box. It's my time machine. There is a world of time energy in there. They could feast on forever, but the damage they could do could switch off the sun. You have got to send it back to me. How? How? And uh, that's it, I'm afraid. There's no more from you on the transcript. That's the last I've got. I don't know what stopped you talking, but I can guess. They're coming. The angels are coming for you. But listen, your life could depend on this. Don't blink. Don't even blink. Blink and you're dead. They are fast, faster than you could believe. Don't turn your back. Don't look away and don't blink. Good luck.
I'm coming! Can't stay here. You can't move so long as I can see you. Whole oh, world in the box, the doctor says. I hope he's not lying, because I don't see how else we're getting out. Oh, and there's your one. Why is it pointing at the... I don't think we need to. He tricked them. The doctor tricked them. They're looking at each other. They're never going to move again. You looked into the eyes of an angel, didn't you? I couldn't stop myself. I tried. Listen to me. It's messing with your head. Your hand is not made of stone. It is. Look at it. It's in your mind. I promise you. You can move that hand. You can let go. I can. OK? I've tried, and I can. It's stone. The angel is going to come. And it's going to turn this light off, and then there's nothing I can do to stop it. So do it. Concentrate. Move your hand. I can't. Then we're both going to die. You're not going to die. They'll kill the lights. You've got to go. You know you have. You've got all that stuff with River, and that's all got to happen. You know you can't die here. Time can be rewritten. It doesn't work like that. Keep your eyes on it. Don't blink. Run! See, I'm not going. I'm not leaving you here. I don't want you to die for me, Doctor. Do I look that clingy? You can move your hand. It's stone. It's not stone. You've got to go. Those people up there will die without you. If you stay here with me, you'll have as good as killed them. Amy Pond, you are magnificent, and I'm sorry. It's OK. I understand. You've got to leave me. Oh, no, I'm not leaving you. Never. I'm sorry about this. No! Ah, see? Not stone. Now run. Let me. Yeah, and you life. I've got a mark! Look at my hand! Yes, and you're alive! Did I mention? Maybe your teeth! Have you got space teeth? Yeah, alive, all I'm saying. The statue is advancing along all corridors. And, sir, my torch keeps flickering. They all do. So does the gravity globe. Clerics, we're down to four men. Expecting coming. That is the angels. They're coming. And they're draining the path themselves. Which means we won't be able to see them. Which means we can't stay here. So two more incoming. Any suggestions? The statues are advancing on all sides. We don't have the climbing equipment to reach the Byzantium. There's no way up, no way back, no way out. 
No pressure, but this is usually when you have a really good idea. There's always a way out. 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 Doctor, can I speak to the doctor, please? Hello, angels. What's your problem? Your power will not last much longer, and the angels will be with you shortly. Sorry, sir. Why are you telling me this? There's something the angels are very keen you should know before the end. Which is? I died of fear. I'm sorry? You told me my fear would keep me alive. But I died afraid, in pain and alone. You made me trust you, and when it mattered, you let me down. What are they doing? They're trying to make him angry. Sorry, sir. The angels were very keen for you to know that. Well, oh, Ben. The angels have made their second mistake because I'm not going to let that pass. I'm sorry you're dead, Bob, but I swear to whatever is left of you, they will be sorrier. But you're trapped, sir. And about to die. Yeah, trapped. And you know what? Speaking of traps, this trap has got a great big mistake in it. A great big whopping mistake. More mistake, sir. Trust me. Yeah. Trust me. Always. You lot, trust me. <laughs> sir, two more incoming. Have faith, sir. Then give me your gun. I'm about to do something incredibly stupid and dangerous when I do. Jump! Jump where? Don't just jump as you can. Come on, leave a faith, Bishop, on my signal. Good signal. You won't miss it. Sorry, can I ask again? You mentioned a mistake with me. Oh, big, big mistake. Really huge. Didn't anyone ever tell you there's one thing you never put in a trap if you're smart, if you value your continued existence, if you have any plans about seeing tomorrow, there's one thing you never, ever put in a trap. And what would that be, sir? Me. The statues, they look more like angels now. They're feeding on the radiation from the wreckage, draining all the power from the ship, restoring themselves. Within an hour, there'll be an arm. They're taking out the lights. Look at them. Look at the angels. Into the ship now, quickly, all of you. No! Doctor! It's just a corridor. The gravity orientates to the floor. Now, in here, all of you, don't take your eyes off the angels. Move, move, move. Okay, man, go, go, go. The angels presume that they can jump up too. They're here. Now. In the dark, we're finished. Back, run! The old place is a death trap. Now it's a time bomb. Well, it's a death trap and a time bomb, and now it's a dead end. Nobody panic. Oh, just me then. What's through there? Secondary flight deck. OK, so we've basically run up the inside of a chimney, yeah? So what if the gravity fails? I thought about that. And? And we'll all plunge to our death, see? I thought about it. Ah, uh, the security protocols are still alive. There's no way to override them. It's impossible. How impossible? Two minutes. The hull is breached and the power's failing. Sir, beam coming. Sir, lights. Watching them. And don't look at their eyes anywhere else, not the eyes. I've isolated the lighting grid. They can't drain the power now. Good work, Doctor. Yes, good, good, good. Good in many ways. Good you like it so far. So far? Well, there's only one way to open this door. I'll guess I'll need to route all the power in this section through the door control. Good, fine, good. Including the lights, all of them. I'll need to turn out the lights. How long for? A fraction of a second, maybe longer. Maybe quite a bit longer. Maybe. How well, I'm guessing. We're being attacked by statues in a crashed ship. There isn't a manual for this. Doctor, we love the torches. We'll be in total darkness. No other way. Bishop. Dr. Song, I've lost good clerics today. You trust this man? I absolutely trust him. He's not some kind of madman, then. I absolutely trust him. Excuse me. I'm taking your word. Because you're the only one who can manage this guy. That only works as long as he doesn't know who you are. You cost me any more men, and I might just tell him understood. Understood. OK, Doctor, we've got your back. Bless you, Bishop. Combat distance, 10 feet. As soon as the lights go down, continue as far. Full spread over the hostiles. Do not stop firing while the lights are out. Shotgun protocol. We don't have bullets to waste. 
Amy, when the lights go down, the wheel should release. It's been a clockwise four turns. Ten. No, four. Four turns. Yeah, four. I heard you. Ready! On my count, then. God be with us all. Three, two, one. Fire! your eyes. You're on the flag deck. The doctor's here. I teleported you. See? Told you I could get it working. River Song, I could bloody kiss you. Oh, maybe when you're older. Sir. The angels are draining the loss of the ship's power, which means the shield's gonna release. Bob, I presume. The time field is coming. It will destroy our reality. Yeah, look at you all running away. What can I do for you? There is a rupture in time. The angels calculate that if you throw yourself into it, you will close and they will be saved. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Could do, could do that. But why? Your friends will also be saved. Well, there is that. I've traveled in time. I'm a complicated space time event too. Throw me in. I'll be serious. Compared to me, these angels are more complicated than you, and it take every single one of them to amount to me, so get a grip. Doctor, I can't let you do this. No, seriously. Get a grip. You're not gonna die here. No, I mean it. River, Amy, get a grip. Oh, you genius. Sir, Sir. the angels need you to sacrifice yourself now. now. Thing is, Bob, the angels are draining all the power from this ship, every last bit of it, and you know what? I think they've forgotten where they're standing. I think they've forgotten the gravity of the situation. Or to put it another way, angels. You hold on tight and don't you let them for anything. No, no. Of Liberty. I guess she got impatient. What? What is it? What? Keep your eyes on that! Oh. Is there a way down? Ah. Uh, no. But there's a way out. What are you doing? Oh. Rory, what are you doing? Stop it, you'll die. Yeah, twice. 
in the same building on the same night. Who else could do that? Just calm down, please. This is the right thing to do. This will work. If I die now, it's a paradox, right? The paradox killed the angels. Tell me I'm wrong. Go on, please, because I'm really scared. <laughs> The one time you can't manage it. <laughs> Amy, I'm gonna need a little help here. <gasps> just stop it. No, just think it through. This will work. This will kill the angels. It will kill you too. Will it? Whoever said that this place would be erased from time never existed. This, if this place never existed, what did I fall off? You think you'll just come back to life? When don't I? Rory! Oh, anyway, what else is there? Dying of old age downstairs, never seeing you again. Amy, please, if you love me, then trust me and push. I can't. You have to! Could you? If it was me, could you do it? To save you, I could do anything. Prove it. I can't take you too. You said we'd come back to life. Money where your mouth is, time. Amy, Shut please. Up. Together. Or not at all. What the hell are you doing? Changing the future. It's called marriage. Amy! Okay? Fine. Yeah, fine. Sorry. Right. This is my personal teleport. I can put you down just outside the town, find the source of the message, and report back to me in one hour. And on your life, Doctor, you will cause no trouble down there. When do I? Don't ask that. What? I'm not an idiot. Everyone in this church is trained to see straight through holograms. Ah, great. Give now. You're taking no technology of any kind down there. What can I do with a key? You, in, now. You could summon your TARDIS. The TARDIS doesn't work by remote. Fine, if it makes you feel any better, there we are. Remember, I want you back in one hour. There's a heat loss filter in your hologram shell. It'll kick in. Just give it a moment. So, Ooh. sweet little town, covered in snow, half the universe in terror. Why? Why? Oh, my God. What? Something under the snow. It's... What is it? Cold. OK, just stand back, please, Clara. <laughs> it's stone. It's just stone. It's only a statue. Clara, step away from it. <gasps> All right, keep looking at it. Don't look away. Don't even blink. What is it? There is a weeping angel under the snow. 
Looks like a statue is in a statue. Can you get your foot out? Honey, if I can get it out of my shoe. You're not wearing a shoe. Good point. OK, just pull hard. I'm trying. Oh, ah. One, ah. two, three. Ah. 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 Keep looking at them, at all of them. Why? Quantum not life form. It can only move if it's unobserved. What are they doing here? Same as everybody else, they must have got past Tasha's shield. <laughs> oh. Oh. Keep looking! Oh, I can't, I can't see! The snow's in my eyes! No. I just need to bring the TARDIS down. You can't fly it remotely! No, but it can hold it on the key. You should see the old key! She took one of them. <laughs> Engines activating. The old key in the quiff routine. Classic. OK. Homing in on the mysterious message. Ooh, yes, I like that. The mysterious message. You shaved your head. Yep. Clever plan to get us past the shield. You got bored one night, didn't you? Yeah, tiny bit bored. Is that what happened to your eyebrows? No, they're just delicate. Right. Setting us down near the signal source. I'm going to turn the engines on silent. Don't want to make a fuss. Put it back on. Why? Your ears are like rocket fins. I know. Don't forget to click below and subscribe to the official Doctor Who YouTube channel.